That should encourage them to come in here. Huh? That'll encourage them to go in there. And they're talking to me.
bees coming through. <laughs> I can't feel it here. Oh yeah, feel it now. It got to you first. Chickens enjoy that breeze. I feel it. Feels good. Here's some lettuce. Here's some lettuce. I'm adding scrambled egg and garlic into his food. Huh? You need to be brushed. Okay. They both do. So that the egg will help their coat and the garlic will help detour. He's right here. He always waits till I get finished. And then I'll go do Majestics. Okay. There you go. There you go. That's all yours. Now I am mixing it. Fantastic food. Jesting needs to be brushed, so maybe before I call him over here, I'll get him brushed. Lee went to go get me the brush. Okay, brush time. It's shedding like crazy. God Almighty. It's going. Nope, can't eat it. <laughs> like my turn, my turn. Then I go over there and then he wants to I know to scoop it all up and get it out of there. Whatever you want to do, honey. 
It's shearing like a sheep. You never, ever, ever want to trim these kind of dogs' hair. Never. You just brush them. If you want, for a moment, you can stop that. Go get me the blue bucket, and I'll throw this in the blue okay. bucket, and then you can come back and then finish. How come it won't record? There it is. so good. I wish Kodiak would stand still for me to do this. Turn around, you're going to twist my wrist. standing there. Hmm. He's got that one spot right there, look. Huh? That one spot. Here? No, right there on his side. Oh, here? Yeah, that's where a lot of it's gotten <laughs> off. A lot of his winter coat. Got another one over here. Right here. You cannot eat that. like that knot's gone way down. Yeah, it's gone way down. I just feel a little knot now. Maybe that
we come out this evening and feed, I'll do it again. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna need more water too today. You want me to dump that out? Yeah. Alright, you go ahead and turn that off. Okay.
Leah's over there giving Kodiak lots of loving. Well, when I turned it on, then he stopped. He didn't know I was videoing. <laughs> He's dumping out his uh, water containers to refill them with fresh water. And I just dumped these out. He's like, where'd you go, Daddy? Where'd you go? <laughs> I just turned it on, and then you stopped uh, rubbing on him. And look at this one over here. There's no water in it. Leah's put in water in, and Kodiak, look at him, runs back. He wants nothing to do with the water. Nothing. Oh, he's behind the pole. You can't even see him. There. We want nothing to do with it. He's an Adam whining. Come on. This one over here is just waiting his turn. Come on. Majestic's barking behind me because he sees Lee with a water hose and he's like, hurry up, hurry up. Cody X, bullshit, I ain't going over there. I'm going further away. The more you call me, the further I go. Look how far away he is from him. Lord forbid he gets any water on him. He thinks he's gonna melt. Oh, yeah. He's going to the other end. This one will take off over there. He's calling his buddy over there. I don't want to get wet. Are they going to make me get wet again? Now that Lee stopped spraying, Kodiak yeah, comes back to the gate. When you put water, don't... Uh, if he gets in it, that's fine, but don't uh, play with him because he's still limping again. Okay. <clears throat> still limping. He gets the science. Oh, I need it and I'll spray it. Well, I need to. <laughs> I know he's limping, but ain't nothing we can do about it because he plays hard. And if he ain't playing in the water, stressing his leg out, he's digging holes. So 
So he's just going to use a little easy put water in as much as he can without playing. I dumped his other one out too. I moved his water, his food over so it won't get wet. He thinks he's a rabbit. We try to discourage him from playing in that one because that's his drinking water. The other one, 30 minutes after he has fresh water, it's full hair again. <laughs> He's got good water when he gets all this little yucky and wet. Before you fill that up anymore, I need to move it back this way some. That way when he's playing in it, he won't get shocked when that line is on. Mm. Don't get in it yet. Oh, okay. Look at Kodiak watching over there. He's just grateful the water's not being sprayed his direction. Since it's still overcast at the moment, I opened up the front gate. So they can free range out in the open run and I'll open up that one and then this water here I'll put out there for them. Y'all want to go out into the open run? I don't hear no hawks and it's overcast. Okay. Okay. So the back door's gate's open. Kodiak is out there and I'm going to leave him loose this time. And we'll see how it goes. And if I can just get them to easily walk that direction. Just to get them to work their way out. Okay, girls. Gates open. Go out and free range. Get you some good green grass. Because when the sun comes out, you'll have to come back. Go on. It's okay. Go on. Okay. Go on. Kodiak's on the back part of the property, so now you can go on out. Go ahead. There you go. I can't believe the little one isn't the last one. Very good. One more back here. Six of them is out. Kodiak doesn't even give them no worries. There's still one in here. They're all out. You're not paying no attention. 
he sees his daddy and <laughs> Majestic over there. Majestic ain't gonna give him no peace of mind either. Well, I got the water over. I got the water over here. Okay, there's shade over here too, there, so it don't matter. Whichever way they want to go, I'm more keeping an eye on the dogs. Kodiak could care less. He's keeping an eye on Majestic. If you want to come over here, you can. I mean, not in here, but where you were at by the gate. Just all there. Oh, we got a breeze right now. Perfect timing to let them out. You can see the chicken's feathers blowing. Oh, hello. Hello, handsome young man. Dog hairs all over. I brushed Cody, uh, Majestic, and I don't have one hair on me. Look, see, he look, here's all the chickens. They're all out. In the outer chicken run. Yep, out in the open run. Nothing on top. And uh, Cody acts not paying no attention to him whatsoever. So that's great. For the water. I'll put them some water on the corner so no matter what direction they are, they can see the water. So they are all going that direction. <laughs> oh, the white one just spotted the, uh, the, 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 the pumpkin. Yeah, they like that grass. Mm-hmm. Did you need to go turn the water off? Already did. Oh man, you're fast. Good for him. He's not even bothered by them being out in the open. Now, if it's your first time watching, I know we got a lot of new subscribers. We have their chicken run, which is covered. And then we have an outer run that they're in at the moment that they are not covered. So we have to stay out here with them when they're out in the open run um, because we have hawks. And we hear, look, look above you. Where? There's a hawk. It just flew over right there. Oh, yep, they're watching. Yep. So we have to stay close, watch the chickens. And oh, they're eating, going to town. On yeah, that and a hawk just flew over. I think with both of us out here, I'm going to go around the other side. So you're here. I'll go over, hear it. So you're here. I'm over here in case I need to. Okay. Uh, Bring them in. So I'm going to go little white one. over there. Okay. The two white ones are over there. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you need to clean that door this way. In case, in case we need to run them in. Door. Yeah, they won't go past it. Okay. Bring it this way. And keep an eye on them better. I'll put their water and I'm gonna go around the other way where we can watch the look. You majestic. Maybe they hawk won't bother them with the dogs right here and us right here. Let me go around. See, this is all open here and I hear a hawk. We do have hawks. So, this is all their outer run they have access to. 
So Lee's on the other side. I'm gonna move in closer just to deter the uh, hawks from coming around. So Lee is there, Kodiak's there, Majestic is there, I'm here, and all the chickens are right in the middle of us. And, huh? And I'm going to, <clears throat> I have a stick over here. I'm going to put it in my hand in case we see, in case the uh, hawk gets a bit close, I'll swing it around to scare him off. I have the stick in my hand in case the hawk comes closer. Look at Kodiak, so good. We're not gonna tell them they're being a good boy at the moment because we don't want them to get all excited. Sit. Sit. All seven are counted for and I'm continuously looking up because they like to fly right over all of those trees because we have trees all the way around and as soon as i was mentioning earlier about the hawk i looked up and there was one flying over So the only time these chickens are allowed out here in the open is when we are all out here. So Lee had me open the chicken run gate, the opposite of what I had it. So it's pushed outward and he's standing on the edge of the door that way, if the hawks do decide to start coming too close, we can corral them back in. But we do it very, very slowly. We'll keep them in that corner there. Okay, honey? Yeah. <clears throat> that way we've got access to protect them. So when, like they eat, or ate a lot of, almost all the grass in there, this is their greenery out here, their grazing area that they can do safely with us here. So we've got Rose, nope, go that way, stay over there, it's chasing a bug, stay over there, we can keep an eye on you. We got Rose. We've got uh, amethyst. The two black ones are black tourmaline and black onyx. We've got selenite, smoky, and jasper. We're just trying to keep them kind of grouped together. I'm still looking up at the sky. And Majestic's settled down, just laying there. Kodiak went to lay in the shade where he can watch them from where he's at. And then we got my honey over there on that end and me on this end. And don't see that hawk. He's probably up in a tree watching thinking we're going to leave the chickens, but we're not. Those are our little girls. Well, 
Okay, so, yep, I guess they're done eating out here. Um, yeah, I'm coming around. And then they went in. Yeah, they went in on their own, which was fine. I'll put their water back in here. Put it in the shade because this over here gets hot. Here, yeah. Okay. They're all in. So, shut this one up. And then I'll go close the other one. So, all the girls going back in on their own. They're all safe and sound. And Majestic and Kodiak done excellent. So, they come in over here in the front just to lay down and chill. See them there. The good Kodiak. Good Kodiak, good boy. He's like, okay, they're in. I'm gonna go back to the other side and lay down now. Good Majestic. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. We've not seen Merlin this morning, but the gate is open for him to the back porch. And his food and water is set up for him. Whenever he shows up, he knows it's there in the shade. It worked. The hummingbird is back. So one's back, the other one's a comeback. And I stepped off the ladder. Um, it flew away, but it's back. <laughs>